Hey there, Nick Juntakis here. In this video, we're going to go over how to support using both MySQL and MariaDB using the same exact Docker Compose YAML file with the help of a single environment variable. So this could come in very handy if you happen to be working at an organization where most folks are using Intel-based CPUs, such as you know uh, MacBook Pros, or maybe you're running Windows with WSL2 or perhaps native Linux. But you do have folks coming on board where they have M1 Macs or they happen to be using other ARM64 devices. This is really important because as of right now, which is mid-September 2021, the official MySQL image here on the Docker Hub does not support ARM64 devices. However, if you go to MariaDB's official image, they actually have it supported here, which is designated by this tag. Maybe by the time that you watch this video, MySQL will support that, but who knows, right? These are things that we can't control, but we can control how we can come up with a solution so that all developers uh, actually have a working version of either MySQL or MariaDB, which is mostly backwards compatible, at least for the application that we're working on here. Um, we're not gonna actually show the application here because it's private client work, but we have a very big application and uh, it's all working with with the setup here. So the basic idea though is actually pretty easy. So we just have the image property and instead of hard coding a string like MySQL, uh, the specific version, feel free to update this one with the newer one if you're watching this video in the future. But yeah, instead of hard coding that string, we just use an environment variable here. And uh, if you watched one of my videos about Docker best practices, I've gone over how you can do variable interpolation in this compose file. I'll leave a card up for that one. But if I take a look here at the env file, then yeah, all we do here is we have a MySQL image defined, the environment variable, and we can choose to override that if we'd like. So I actually edited this because I wanted to test this before running the video, but normally it's going to look like this by default. And basically the idea here is, you know, maybe in your repo, you'd have a env.example file like this pushed up to GitHub and it's all commit to version control, just same defaults, right? And then every local developer would copy that env example file to an env file that's not commit to version control. So now everyone by default is just going to get MySQL because let's just say for right now, the majority of folks are using Intel based CPUs. But if you happen to have an M1 or another ARM64 device, what you could do here is just uncomment this and then drop in MariaDB here for the value and you would be good to go. So let's actually uh, check this out here. So if I run a Docker Compose uh, down V, just to make sure we're dealing with a clean slate here, then I'll do Compose up and I'll open up another window here just to prepare to what we're gonna see here. But right now MySQL uh, is going to be started, specifically MySQL 8. And if I do a Docker PS here and we'll grab out DB, we can see that we are running the MySQL image here, right? And that's because uh, we're just using the default value here, which was defined here uh, as a default value for the environment variable if it happens to be not set. So great, that's all working totally fine. MySQL's up and running. You can interface with it, do whatever you'd like. But now let's switch over to using um, uh, MariaDB instead. So I'm gonna uncomment that, just copy this value here, bring that over here, paste that down here, and then, all I have to do here is do a down V again, because we want to clear out the volume since we're switching between two different databases here. Uh, and then we can go up, even though technically the binaries are backwards compatible, there are some differences. And by the way, there is going to be a written version of this video up on my blog. I'll leave a link to that one in the description. By the time that you watch the video, it is going to be out. But uh, now let's rerun this Docker PS here with a grep on the DB. And we can see this time around, we are using MariaDB instead of MySQL. Technically should have ran a Docker uh, container LS here, just because the namespace commands are a little bit nicer, but you know, I've been using Docker since like 2015. So these older commands here, the non namespace ones are kind of still muscle memory for me uh, for a lot of times. But anyways, yeah, that's it. So just one simple environment variable. Suddenly now everyone can run uh, ARM64 or AMD64 or X64, whatever, whatever. Maybe there's actually a typo there. There should be X86. Yep, there we go. That'll be fixed in the blog post. But anyways, yeah, that's it for this one. You can actually use this pattern for any other situation where you might be you know, going around the official Docker Hub and if you don't see support for your favorite thing, maybe you can find an alternative there and use the same thing. So with that said, thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to uh, answer all of them. With that said, thanks a lot for watching again and I will see you in the next video.